Good afternoon and welcome to the Token Metrics Monday Bitcoin conference call. I'm your host, Bill Noble. Today, we're going to go through the charts of Bitcoin. Actually, we're going to go through one chart with a lot of different things happening. And we're going to give you what we think and an idea on how to proceed going forward. So here we are on the Bitcoin daily chart and we see Bitcoin isn't doing anything. <laughs> it's range trading. When it goes up, it looks fantastic. When it goes down, it looks terrible. And now it just sits here. Okay, so going forward, this is the key. We want to see Bitcoin above the 21-day moving average. That's this green line right here. Okay, that's right around 8,300. So to be bullish as, you know, objective technical analysts, we want to see Bitcoin above 8,300 closing above the 21-day moving average. Now, why the 21-day moving average? Because a lot of algorithms, a lot of institutional traders look at it, okay? So we're neutral for the moment because it's just sitting there. Now, of course, we want to be bullish, like everyone in the crypto space, but we have to take it one step at a time. Now, speaking of taking it one step at a time, we're going to back our little arrow up here, and we're going to point right here to this black line, which is the 200-day moving average. Now, in a perfect world, we're going to see Bitcoin take out 8,700. And if that happened, I think we could be talking about a move as high as 12K. All right? Now, on the flip side, Bitcoin could just sit here. And if so, that's okay, because there's a lot of other coins like ZRX, Cosmos, Ethereum, that could actually lead the rally. Okay? So, for the moment, we're in neutral mode with Bitcoin. We're optimistic. We think if you're holding it, you can go right on holding it because there's nothing negative here. Until it does something, we'll, we can't give you a read until it does something. So we're looking at the 21-day moving average. We're also looking at, on the fundamental side, that the Federal Reserve is going to have to put money into the banking system. Right now, there isn't enough. Now, we think that is one of the reasons why Bitcoin is stuck because the way it works in the financial system is the more money there is sloshing around, okay, the more likely it is that someone's going to chase a speculative asset like Bitcoin. So as the Fed continues to pump money into the system, okay, that may eventually wind up helping Bitcoin. All right. So we're in wait and see mode now. We appreciate you tuning in with us. Thanks a lot. Have a good night.